Hi guys, Tate James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys the best way to watch YouTube on your PlayStation Vita or PSTV. So for this, um, you can actually watch YouTube on the web browser, but it's a bit glitchy. I made a video on it quite a while ago, and it's probably stopped working by now. But basically what somebody has done, somebody has made a YouTube app, and it actually works really well. So to get this, all we want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell to start off with. Obviously, we need to connect this to our PC. So press select, go and connect it um, via USB or FTP, it's up to you go and connect it and I will show you guys what to do next so once you're guys on your computer what you want to do is just go to the first link in the description of this video right now tube Vita is on version 1.07 I think the last time I actually tried this I was gonna make a video and it just wouldn't play videos but what they've done they've managed to update it and get it working so the update was um, just a day ago and now it's fully um, you know working everything like that so if you guys want to get it all you want to do is just click the blue download button and it will download the VPK file so once the VPK file has finished downloading, we just want to go to our downloads folder and we will be able to find this in here. So what we're going to do from here is just select this and just drag and drop it to the root of our PS Vita. And that's literally it. Very, very small file. So let's go back onto our PS Vita. Let's install it and I will show you guys what it's like. Okay, so once we're back, let's go onto our UXO and let's find a VPK file and let's just install this quickly. So just press X on our X again. You guys should know how to install VPKs. Okay, and then once that is done installing, it should just take a second. There isn't really much in the app itself. It's, you know, just about two megabytes. So once that is done, we can just go and open it up. So here it is. It's just called Tube Vita. This is what it looks like. We can just tap it, go ahead and start it up. It's got its own like boot screen and everything like that. And basically what it will do is open up its own kind of internet browser. This is not associated with the actual app. Um, if you are to open up the actual app, um, it won't actually be on YouTube. This version is different. As you can see, we've got refresh. Um, that X closes it. We've got a forward and back button at the side. What we can do here is tap on the search icon. We can type in the YouTube channel that we want. So I'm going to go for... Um, sad chill probably one of my favorite channels right now so we're just going to search this and obviously you can search any youtube video i'm just doing this for a demo i'm just going to select the channel videos or you can pretty much you know find any video you want to watch and yeah it's really simple um obviously it's just youtube so you can just find the video you can tap on it you can pretty much pretty much watch anything um anything on youtube of course so yeah just tap on the video it's going to kind of open it again in full screen mode and you will be able to watch it. So it's kind of strange. I'm pretty sure there aren't adverts on this, so this will bypass adverts. If we're to tap the video, as you can see, we've got back. You can you know skip parts of the video. We've also got a settings option here. This just has screen mode, so probably just leave that on normal. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. You can't fast forward it or anything like that. You don't get any of the other YouTube features. But as you can see, the videos play it perfectly fine. Obviously sound works as well. Much, much better than the normal um, just web browser version. And you can click the cross and it will go. And um, you know, you can pretty much play any other video. So yeah, pretty cool YouTube app. Um, you can sign into your account, I believe. If you click on the dots up here, yeah, so you know, there you go, you can sign in, we've got loads of options and stuff. And of course you can read the comments and stuff like that. So you just tap on comments. There you go, you can even post your own comment if you sign into your account. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.